How long has I been doing that? <laughs> also, hello. If I sound a little strange, uh, Angela suggested that I take a pill for uh, voice actless games, and apparently this is the side effect of it. So... Don't mind the fact that I sound a little strange than I uh, normally would. Am I low? Oh. Um. Apparently, the uh, game I was trying to make sure worked uh, was going off with sounds, so I wanted to make sure that it was, you know, not doing that for the whole majority of the song of the intro. So anyway, before we begin... Uh, as I said, if I sound a little strange, uh, Angela Ruby Eye, our head of research at Black Robe Productions and Ruby Eye Sciences, suggested that I take a pill that causes this <laughs> as a side effect. So, uh, you've been warned, you might not hear my, my Celtic tones today. At the very least. They're working on... Sorry. They're working on a uh, solution that doesn't cause this, but uh, for the time being, uh, this is going to have to be how it is. So, uh, some news. Uh, we're going to start off with the really depressing news first, and then we're going to start it ended off with the more happy news. Uh, I hope this doesn't become a gimmick. If it does, then, hey, you know what? We found our gimmick. Uh, bleh. Apparently, I voice cracked too with this pill. Uh, we found our gimmick aside from the fact that I am a sorcerer vampire who runs a fetish company. So... <laughs> That's, uh, that's gonna be that. Uh, we lost yet another legend, uh, yesterday. Or no, I think it was the 1st of March. Was it the 1st of March? Let me double check. Uh, Jester, you might not know this person. For the record. So, give me just a second to uh, find the uh, thing. I need the actual paper. Yeah, he died the f yeah he died the first of, Feb of this month. Uh. Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball Z, I think. <laughs> I totally know what I'm talking about. But uh, he was he he was essentially a legend among like a lot of anime inspired stuff. So, uh. Yeah, he's gone now. <laughs> um, this didn't hit me as hard, honestly, because I, I never watched Dragon Ball. I, I kind of got into the anime craze a little late, so. Um, this didn't hit me as hard as uh, the other news I'm about to say. 
And uh, that's uh, that's the fact that Rooster Teeth is closing down after, what was it, 24 years? 24, 21? This will make one of my friends sad. Oh, I'm sure they probably already know <laughs> if, if they follow uh, social media. But, uh, how many? This, uh, this year is just a really fucked up year, guys. Um, but after many, many years, Rooster Teeth is closing down. Ro Rooster Teeth is, uh, of course, the creator of many shows that uh, some people enjoyed back in the day, like uh, Red vs. Blue. Uh, in terms of modern day, they made Ruby. Uh, Camp Camp. I believe there was another show. Uh, the name of it escapes me, though, since I think the creation of that show is when I dipped from Rooster Teeth a bit. But... They're one of the people that inspired me to make uh, Blackwell Productions into something. And Playboy Vampire and now Blue Rose Court. So, uh, yeah. That's one of the uh, other sad things. So, let's move on to the happy stuff, huh? So that we don't stick with the sad stuff. But I will say, uh, before I move on to the sad stuff, um, where is it? Where is his name again? Because uh, I'm honestly going to be joining this fight, and I don't care how he reacts to it. Um, fuck David Fuckslav. <laughs> the, uh, the man that is willing to watch one film three times and doesn't watch one film one time. <laughs> the one film he didn't watch the one time is the one he's trying to kill off, essentially. And uh, now, apparently, according to the masses, I don't think this is true, but they seem to have it ingrained in their head that he's also the one that's closing down Rooster Teeth. So uh, if that's the case, uh, fuck him. <laughs> And if I do make Blackwell Productions into something, I'm definitely not bringing it to Warner uh, Brothers. <laughs> so, uh, congratulations, uh, Mr. Fuckslav. You, uh, <laughs> you've, lo you've lost a customer. And possibly a million more <laughs> now. Now that, you know, you've, you've shown your true colors to the world. Off topic, by the way, Jax, that means you do know who I'm talking about. You know Akira Toriyama? Oh, yeah, and yeah, he'll probably be... If he doesn't know already, he'll be hit really hard. <laughs> expect expect them to be hit really hard by the news, because this seems to be the uh, consensus right now with a lot of fans of this series. In other good news, though, uh, the good news that I promised you all... Uh, the company that gave Blackwell Productions a chance, Playboy Vampire, is currently in the process of 
crowning a spring, no, spring flower, flower queen. I haven't checked the votes in a while. Let me uh, let me just quickly check the votes. I can't see the votes. <laughs> I can't I can't see the comments. This is bad. Uh let's see. Yikes. <laughs> not, uh, not a lot has changed in the uh, voting department. So if you want to vote, uh, Jester, if you'd be willing to, I would appreciate it if you could put the link in the uh, Twitch chat as well as maybe the YouTube chat. I still can't. I still don't know if I can see the YouTube chat. I'm probably going to check that <laughs> while I can. Because apparently... As I've learned, uh, <coughs> what is going on with my voice today? Aside from the side effects, plus side effects. Um, hmm, that's weird. I can't find my my actual. Here it is. All right, sound off in YouTube. <laughs> sound off in YouTube land. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it to the other side of me. I'm starting to realize this might actually be why I need a third monitor. Because of shit like this. Okay. I'm also going to make it to where my iPad doesn't like shut itself off so I can you know, still see the effing chat there. Uh, let's see. Auto lock. Never. Perfect. All right. Uh,. But yeah, if you guys would like to vote um, for the Flower Queen of Playboy Vampire, there's the link right there. Uh, place in the comments your vote, and we will happily, we will happily accept <laughs> your vote. Holy shit, we need votes <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Because I, I saw, like, it won't let me pin the link. Bummer. Big sad. But because I saw, like, the 14 comments, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> That's a lot of votes. And then I look at the comments and I'm like, oh, damn. It's, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, it works! I can finally see! <laughs> Screw you, iPad. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I can see. Holy shit. Well, I should rephrase that, iPad. I don't need you right now. 
I will definitely need the iPad later, though. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to vote, go ahead and click onto the link. Uh, quickly make your vote, and uh, we'll be here. Today, we're going to be playing a little game called The Shadows of Doubt. Now, The Shadows of Doubt... Or no, not The Shadows of Doubt. It's just called Shadows of Doubt. Shadows of Doubt is a sandbox mystery solving game it's a it's a sandbox detective game it's a pretty good game too i uh i watched tomato play it and i i enjoyed what i saw so i was like you know what i want to try it and uh, for what it was worth, I, I liked the uh, enjoyment of it. I might not play it for too long. I'm going to play it for like maybe two hours, maybe. Uh, it kind of depends on the uh, mysteries that I run into, as well as the uh, narrative that I write <laughs> for for this game. Because I'm going to be doing sandbox mode. I'm, I'm not going to do story mode. Fuck story mode. <laughs> the fun is in sandbox mode. With that being said, though... Let's go ahead and get into it. Because I've already said all my news. Let's see, I said all my news, right? Yeah, I said all my news. All that's left now is basically just playing a game. Now. Uh a fair warning, I don't know how loud it's gonna it's gonna be. So uh let me know how it sounds. I'm going to put it in my uh, Streamlabs over here. Okay. So welcome to Shadows of Doubt. Now, it takes a little bit for the game to uh, start. The music. Unless it crashes. <laughs> which is also a very big possibility. There we go. Game good? Is the uh, volume... Let me know if the volume's good or bad. Turn it up slightly. Are you sure? that okay got it so today we're uh we're gonna generate a large city but it's not gonna be any city no it's it's gonna be um Uh, I don't know. Is that lazy? Fuck it. Ah, uh, welcome, Claire. It's nice to see you. Welcome to, uh, <laughs> welcome to our playthrough of Shadows of Doubt. Uh... As I've been telling everybody, uh, Angela Rubii, our si head of research and science expert, has made me make take a pill for this game because it has no voice acting in it. So uh, this is the side effect of said pill, my voice. So uh, you've been warned. <laughs> Enable city editor? I don't want to do that. Uh, today we're going to be playing the role of our detective. <laughs> our our head detective at Blackwell Productions. Uh, 
Uh, I'm also going to put it on easy mode because, you know, I still don't really know how to. You know, play this game properly. Is it? I would have thought... Uh, mm, well, actually, that might be true because uh, that's, that's probably true. Either way, nice to meet you. A cult detective? Uh... I don't know if it's a cult. <laughs> this is more like a cyberpunk detective. This is more like a... Because there's a lot of like... Um... Uh, I'll explain when we get to the to the actual parts of it, but <laughs> creating relationships, generating air ducts, creating evidence. Oh, the game doesn't like me. <laughs> it was like, why did you do this? Now, this game is very, very in-depth. Like, every room has an interior. Every building has, a has like, a lot of rooms. <laughs> uh, I probably should have just made, like, a medium city, huh? Oh, well. I'm sure it'll be fine. Come on, game. Burning daylight here. <laughs> Quite literally. All right. It is the late 20th century. Hyperindustrialization has swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled away, giving away to the United Atlantic States and the first elected megacorporation president in the history, Starch Cola. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Workers dream of escaping to the fields, an exclusive retirement district few will ever see. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by privatized starch cola enforcers. Uh huh. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. The shadows of doubt. Hello, my name is Jackson Hulse. Uh, it is now six p.m. on Monday, January second, in Gillard Street. I'm going to make sure of something before I begin. I don't think I can turn off what I need. Why is there a streaming setting on this thing? Never mind. Hang on. Why is there a streaming thing on here? Hold on a second. <laughs> what, what does the stream button do? Ah, I see. I see. Okay.
Nothing, nothing too serious. So, welcome to Midnight City. Uh, I have a sprint button. I can toggle on and off. TYT? Jester help, what does TYT mean? <laughs> My old man is showing. <laughs> what, what, what does TYT mean? Now, while I'm waiting for an answer, um, unfortunately, I have to find. I don't know. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, I gotta find the city hall really fast. Barrett Street! Knight Street! No, for real, where, where is it? Fucking... Take your time. Ah, okay. I need a button that just activates my map. Which one is that? Map. What if I want to activate just the... No, this is fine. Okay, so where is... City Hall. There it is. To City Hall! We gotta get our first case, you see. Which might be nothing, which might be very illegal, for the record. Um, I'm kind of a freelance detective, you see. That's why justice only works in the shadows. Are you sure this game is absolutely perfect in volume, Jester? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. 6.36 p.m. City Hall ground floor lobby. So we can expect all these uh, public... What the hell was that say? Oh. <laughs> no questions asked, no questions answered. 600 uh credits. Yeah, next. Uh highly respectable and influential Corporate client seeks skilled investigator to look into a business concern. Experience and evidence collection needed. Uh, fee of a rare sync disc infiltrator and 750 Ooh, ask staff for Harmon. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, wanted discrete individual photography skills required. Reward of a rare sync disc. Constitution... And a thousand. Do I even have enough for a camera? I do, funnily enough. I now have a camera. Uh, accept that as well. So we got a th so we got theft and we have photograph. Let's go ahead and uh Let's 
Call this number. You hear about the job? Meet me at Hernandez Street. I'll be wait sitting with a gemstetter. Ask about Herman. Make it sharp. Won't be here for much longer. Okay. Cool. Why did I do- ah! <laughs> I'm sorry! I thought that was the open button! I think I'm fine now. They'll never catch me alive. Okay, where's Hernandez Street? <laughs> where, uh, where is Hernandez Street? Hernandez Street is... Damn it. <laughs> I gotta hurry. Fucking hell, I cannot believe that. I gotta be careful when it comes to that. Left click is to open the door normally. Right click is to basically just kick the door down. I've learned that now. Alright. Hey. Is this Herman? Good, you made it. I need a photog I need a photograph of somebody. The leads for the target are in this briefcase. Take it. Deliver it under the door at 701 Coo Cascades. Okay, cool. Telephone number acquired. Job information updated. Um. Well, what's the... Unknown citizen. Oh, yeah? You want me to call them, huh? Are you sure? Alright, I mean... I just gotta find a place with a phone number, with a phone booth now. Excuse me, do you have a phone booth in here? No, you don't. Have a good day. Excuse me, phone booth? You have a phone booth. Yes, you do. Okay. See they pick up. They probably won't. Quaint looking little diner, by the way. Is it Christmas? I know. Hmm. Well, I guess since that's not working, let's go to the other one. 
Uh, details. I uh, kind of wish I knew where the staff in question was. I got to go back to City Hall, don't I? Oh, boy. They're going to love me. Well, time to go face the music. You know, I've never realized this, but sometimes I don't like the sound of snow crunching under your feet. I don't know why. It, it just, it doesn't sound great to me. Okay. Left. Click. Left. Click. Okay. Excuse me. Harmon? Hear about that job, huh? Poster needs you to steal something. A file and a red and brown envelope. Wait, I thought I was... The Mark's name is Ellis Leroy. Wait, but I thought I was solving the... But I thought I was solving the... Am I a criminal? Am I, in fact, the criminal? God, what is with these people in public humiliation? People don't have any class anymore. Alright, we're just going to be very careful now when opening those doors. Anyway. Uh, Ellis Leroy. I guess I'll ask people in this building about Ellis Leroy. Excuse me, hi. Uh, do you know Ellis Leroy? I can't help you. Cool, have a good day. I guess. Excuse me, hi. Uh, do you know Ellis Leroy? I can't help you? Okay. Bye. This is about the front, the front of the game. is just me figuring out where the fuck anything is. Dude, can you tell me anything about Ellis Leroy? Keep your nose out of my business. You are the one asking me about Ellis Leroy. Just steal a file in a red and brown envelope. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, hey, Bill, you listening to this shit? Excuse me, sir. Okay. Have fun. People are so mean to me. They're so mean to the baby detective. They have no idea. Hold your horses. Okay. Hi. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, do you know Ellis Leroy? Unless you got more than that. I'm afraid that's all I have, ma'am. But uh, you have a good day. All right, well, time to go ask every random person on the street. Excuse me, sir, wait. Uh, do you know Ellis Leroy? Can't do anything with that info. Cool, you have a good day. Excuse me, ma'am? Have you seen this person? Mind you, okay, cool.
I kind of wish I had a little more information to go off of, but of course, uh, Harmon doesn't give a shit. <laughs> On the phone with my dad. Cool, that's cool, that's cool. Excuse me, sir? <laughs> do, uh, do you know Ellis Leroy? It's not enough to go on. Well, I'm afraid that's all I have, sir. Excuse me, madam. Do you know Ellis Leroy? No. Okay. God, Harmon, why'd you have to not give me shit? Harmon? You sack of shit, Harmon. <laughs> Steal something, a file in a red and brown, brown envelope. Cool. Mark's name is Ellis Leroy. And that's all they give me. Hi. Do you know Ellis Leroy? Well, what would be enough to help you? <laughs> help me. Sir, I don't think you quite understand that... God, it would be so much funner to solve a fucking murder mystery, wouldn't it? It'd be funner to solve a murder mystery than this shit. There's files on this fucking guy. Wouldn't that be something? No. Who just leave? Wait, who just leaves a filing cabinet over here with nothing in it? What kind of man? What? Oh, that's a really shitty light, isn't it? Wait a minute. That's a really shitty light. Alright. Next. <coughs> Next. Next uh, mode of business is clearing out. I forgot I can just pull my fists out whenever I want. Murder! A murder? Thank God. I'm gonna pick up the uh, resolution form. Eden Skinner. Ed Eden Skinner. The case of the Eden Skinner. 902... Hang on. Where am I going? 902 MacArthur. 902 MacArthur Projects. Hopefully I don't get shot <laughs> on upon entering the uh, crime scene. Because uh, I'm the guy that's going to be solving the case. Excellent. Evening. Now for the real fun part of this game. I gotta go up the stairs all the way to floor nine. Fourth floor. Fifth floor. There's a lot of people coming down the building all of a sudden. <clears throat> Seventh. Eighth. And... Hello? Hey guys, can you not be here? I don't have a choice. I have to do it this way. Who's that? Wait, is the doors open? No. Which way is... 
Which, which way is it? I don't understand. Well, I guess I'll just wait for the fucking doors to open because I don't know where I'm going in the air ducts. Guys, can you let me in? <laughs> Please? Hey guys, you're short. Hey, am I allowed to go investigate? I'm allowed to go check it out, right? I took the case. I work with you guys. Oh. It's literally just right there. Checking with him, Dad. Cool, cool. All right, let's take this man's uh, prints. Who are we dealing with? <clears throat> we have no idea. So, uh, how'd you die? Oh. Boot print size. Cool. Cool. I'm going to take your... Fingerprints for a minute. Is there anything on the body that can tell me what the hell happened to this man? Was that a roach? Inspect. There is absolutely nothing on this man <laughs> that would otherwise tell me how he died. Uh-huh. Cool. We might have a lady, we might have a lover killer. Type C. Wait, hold on. Type C might just live here, too. I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Is that poison? This guy just has a fucking bottle of poison in his cupboards. Who the hell are you? Well, we're about to find out. Is that a VH VHS? Hazelford. Hazel Ford was their name. Uh, that key is now mine. They are an avid book reader. I can tell that much. Uh, they love glazed uh, stuff. Let's see. There is nothing in these drawers. What is the point of these drawers then? I'm going to take that lock pick. Expect this matchbook. Nothing in the matchbook. A lot of bugs in this fucking apartment. Wait. That's new. What's in here? Cardboard box. What's in this box? Oh. Anybody else live here? 
Albion Enterprise. So I guess that's their job. All right, that must be their job. Yeah. Uh, Jenny Willoughby. <coughs> I don't know why this would be important, but I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to, you know, keep these intact. Ines Vega. Lover? I assume. And they live here, or they work here. <coughs> cool. Tenancy agreement with Ayana Begay. Cool. Yeah, they, they live here with uh, the other person. Got it. Female... That's important. Okay. Good, good, good. Good to see. Good to see. That's just a camera, I guess. Remember your passcode, 3971. That's important. They're a smoker. Smoking always kills, as they say. Who just sleeps with a fucking wrench next to them? Someone forgot their key. Okay, I thought my handwriting was bad. <laughs> this person has the worst handwriting I think I've ever seen. Let's see. Drawer, drawer. Drawer. That's now mine. This box is going to be a problem. You stay there. Anything in these drawers? No. <clears throat> nice vanity, though. Oof. You know, I never get you. You know, I every time I play this game, I never get used to seeing this. Is there really no size 10? Size 10 and a size 12? That can't be right. So how'd you... Oh. A wound caused by a sharp object or blade. Uh-oh. Well, we know the drill. Wait. That's Hazel's fingerprint. What's this on the floor? Hold on a minute. Where's our shopping list on the floor? Well, that belongs to... What's-her-face? Wait, these are both... They both belong to Hazel. Okay, so it can't be that. that work rota that's important uh type c there's hazel's id
Hazel's. Hazel's. Dude, Hazel, you should have cleaned your fucking apartment. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> what, they have like a kid? Oof, who's going to tell the kid? Not going to be me. This is their work, Rona. I don't know why I thought that would help me. Is there any chance that one of these has a nut? That's Hazel's fingerprint. Hazel's. Type C. Who is this Type C? I want to know who that Type C is. It's Hazel's. Yeah, who who is this Type C? Until we find out who that Type C is, I'm gonna mark this as possibly the sh the weapon. Or maybe it's one of these. Hazel. Hazel. Okay. Not, uh, not a lot in here. Ten oh four PM, huh? Why do they have two cuckoo clocks? Oh, well, here's the vent. It's a good thing I didn't decide it's a good thing I decided not to take the vent in here. Damn. He they they died. They died real bad. Let's see if I can find that wound again. Yeah. I already have that, right? Let's see. Yeah, I already have that. Uh, they're called the Eden Skinner, and yet they didn't skin them. What a fraud. <laughs> Interesting place for a hammer. Cleaning spray, birth control pills, a videotape. Hang on a minute. Is there a thing on this set that... Yeah, to search this. Nothing in there. Got it. There's a boot print right there. Is that my boot print? <clears throat> okay. I might need to look up more stuff. I'm going to turn off that television for a minute. Uh, Hazel Ford. Three nine seven one. K 
Okay. Profile. Got that. Mail. Linus Mayet. Hmm, would Linus... I wonder, Linus, would you be willing to murder in order to keep your job? I do have to wonder, Linus. Attention all employee. I do not wish to see a repeat of last year's debacle. Attendance at the candor party is mandatory, and we will be checking names against the payroll lists to ensure that you are present. Uh, we expect you to enjoy yourself. Thank you in advance for... For... Reminder. I'm sorry. Please, please give me another chance. You don't know how hard it's been. I'm begging you, Hazel. This job is all I have. It's my life. I'm so sorry for letting you down. I hate myself. I'll never do it again. I swear. Please believe me. Would they be willing to silence Hazel? This might be the easiest... Uh... <laughs> this might be the easiest case ever, honestly. Um, that being said, still can't believe they just keep poison in their fucking ca cabinets. <clears throat> okay, now I just gotta... Oh, shit. Okay, bad news, guys. Uh... We got to take the vent out of here. <laughs> yes, I know I'm trespassing. Shush. Gotta take the vents out of here. Nope. Keep going. Just keep going. Go down and down and down. Shit. Eh. Eh. Okay. So, very interesting. Uh. A very interesting list we have so far. Linus is suspect number one. We're going to change all these to purple. Just so we know. <clears throat> but I need to know who Type C's fingerprint is. And I need to find out where Linus lives. Hi. Wait. Excuse me. Uh, do you know this person? 
They were around MacArthur Projects. Okay. Cool. Thanks for your help, I guess. There were also some size 12 and size 10 boots. Those might help me too. Why is it so dark in here? That's the alarm switch. Okay. So where does this guy, where did this guy work? Or where did this person work? Um... Receptionist, where'd you work? Albion Enterprises. Let's go visit their... Let's go visit. Let's take a visit to Albion Enterprises and have a little chat with Linus. Oh, it's right... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I guess I have to wait. Wait, there's someone in there. I guess I wait. I guess I'll wait. <clears throat> the place on fire. Yeah, this isn't enough. I'm gonna wait until eight. We can wait until eight. We just gotta wait until that light turn until the lights turn on in that building. I am now wet. <laughs> I'm now wet because I've been sitting in the rain. Cool. Maybe I'll dry off. Oh, there's some activity going on. But will the lights turn on? That's the real question. Will the lights turn on? The lights did not turn on. We're going to go for 10. Will it be at 10? Wait a minute. Receptionist. You don't think that now that Hazel's dead, it's never going to open, do you? <laughs> hey, sir? Excuse me, do you know when this building opens? Okay. I'll just go find a place that knows. City directory. Albion Enterprises. I really wish it would tell me when it opened. <laughs> I really wish... Wait, doesn't the door tell me? Hold on a minute. Another murder? But I haven't even solved this one. What the hell do you mean?
I haven't even solved this murder. <laughs> what do you mean there's another murder? Oh, well, he's already going off. At least I'll know where it is. Well, I might as well just grab the... I can't... I... Oh, dear. <laughs> it's, it's not going to let me. Uh-oh. Wait, is it because it's the same? Uh oh. Oh no. Well, this can't be good. It better, it better not be the same guy. Ah, oh, how strange. It's almost like... It's almost like he's holed up in in that build, one building that I can't get in. Is it? Locked. Hello? Wait, someone's coming. What do you mean someone's coming to the door? Oh, you're a police officer. Hey, open the door immediately. My friend, you're in the fucking building. <laughs> <clears throat> Are you guys done already? Am I cool to just go in? Can I investigate? I'm kind of in the middle of an investigation, but can I go in? Well, I mean... Oh shit. There's no one here. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. How do I hide under the fucking bed? Okay. I think I'm good. Oh, shit. It's the same guy. <laughs> All right. Another fucked up individual. <laughs> Oh, they wear glasses wear. Oh, they never even saw him coming. Poor bastard. Wait, was hand. I'm going to take your fingerprints, lady. I will find out who did this to you. Mark my words. I just need to find out where they stabbed you. <laughs> Mm. 
ma'am. I wonder if... Hold on a minute. Boot size... 11? What was that? Your type D... 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 So, uh, what's your name, lady? CB? What's your name, CB? Clementine Bro. Works at Wheaton New Networks. Are you sure this isn't them? <laughs> Are you sure that that's not Clementine? Yeah, I was about to say, isn't that Clementine up there? So they don't even work at the same places. <clears throat> uh, Hazel. Yeah, they're a technician. I mean, they're not going to need that money. I'll put to good use. Where's the computer? These people don't have one. Credit card? I don't want their credit card. Oh no, they're an organ donor. Yikes. Well, their organs are gonna definitely get to go to something good. Are we sure this is the same? Are we sure this is part of the Eden murder? <laughs> I mean, it's the same modus operandi, I guess, but... You know, yep, another wound caused by yet another blade. Oh, I got to go back to Hazel. Huh, more footprints. Size 11. Size 14. Size 11. Size 14. Now, am I the size... No, there's a size 10. There's a size 10 -er. Any of these boots size 10? No, these are size 11. What's this? Wait, do all these fingerprints belong to Clementine? Yes. So if we find a fingerprint that don't belong to Clementine, we have our person. Unfortunately, it looks like all these fingerprints belong to Clementine. It's very unfortunate, but it's looking to be the case. Uh, what's in here?
The safe's empty. Why'd you keep an empty safe for? Unless the whole Misen was murder. CB paid. Yeah, they paid all right. With both their life and their savings, it looks like. Didn't even look like they finished cleaning their plate. Now, because I know there's a police officer outside... Hang on, is there... Hold on, before I go... Is there a second guy in here that I can, like, talk to? No, she lived alone. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to close that. I want to close it now. Where does that lead? I don't want to find out. I don't want to know in case it doesn't lead to where I think it does. Man, I must be a slippery little eel to be able to like get through these air ducts. Damn, the Eden Killer, he he struck again, damn it. That is a house. I'm not going in there. I think the only way out <laughs> is through the front door. Unless, where does this lead? Any chance this leads to an outdoor? Oh. Yeah, this won't look suspicious at all. <laughs> Hey. What's uh what's up? You don't mind if I leave, do you? Have a good day, officer. The Eden killer struck again. But this time it made but this time it didn't make any sense where he struck. Like, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little lost as to what the Eden killer is like do doing. Is he like killing only girls? Like what what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> I'm a little lost. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But I knew one thing for sure. I still had a suspect at question. And by the gods of this fucked up planet, I am definitely going to ask him. It's open. Well, well, well. This would have been, uh, what's her face's desk. There's a picture of Linus. Found the man I need to talk to. But now. Now I needed to know where the hell he lived. <laughs> she really kept perfuming her. Uh, 
drawer, huh? I, mean, I gotta take that lockpick. Paper stack. Cool. Let's see if anyone's working. Who the hell are you? Hi? Uh, hey, do you, do, do you know, uh, Linus? Yeah, that's my colleague, Linus Myatt. They work at Albion Enterprises. Saw them about Kong building. Cool, cool. Uh, do you know Hazel? I work with them. That's Hazel Ford. They work at that place. I'll be an enterprise. Yeah, you don't say. I saw them somewhere around MacArthur Projects. Cool. Okay. Uh, do you by any chance know Clementine? It's all about Schuster Grange. All right. Uh, you have a good day, sir. It was one thing I knew. That's why I had to find Linus at uh, Kong whatever. Kong building. I had to go find Linus before he decided to murder people again. I wasn't exactly sure if I'd be able to do this. <laughs> but we'll figure it out. Anyway, where the fuck is Kong Building? <laughs> Kong Building is right here. Kong Building. Named after the great Donkey Kong, of course. Nintendo was a great enterpriser until, uh, Starch Cola came into town. But now I had to figure out where the hell this Linus lived. Maybe I could ask one of the neighbors. I thought to myself allowed evening uh, do you know a Linus Myatt is that right now what the hell was Linus doing <laughs> at the same place as the second murdered suspect. <clears throat> what the hell was Linus doing there? <clears throat> well, I knew one thing's for sure. He definitely wouldn't get past me. Not for a second. I gotta get myself some handcuffs in case I run into the fucker. <laughs> I at least know what he looks like now, so there's that. So if I just find him roaming the streets, <laughs> he's he is in fact a dead man. But uh, I gotta go get, I gotta go get me some handcuffs. Just this fucking town, I swear. <laughs> Evening. <laughs> you uh. You, do, you doing good there? 
sir. Okay. What a what a world. I needed to get myself some handcuffs in case I ran into Linus <laughs> outside of his known habitat. And just in case I run it, I actually run into him. I do need to actually get this too. All right. Now I was fully ready to face Linus, in case he ever struck again. Which is a very big possibility at this point, because I have no idea where the fuck Linus even is. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> Some of these places, these, uh, these phone booths have, like, a book on them. It tells you the people where they are and where they live. So, if at all possible, I'm gonna see if maybe I can find a City Hall. What am I doing? The only place that knows where everybody fucking lives. Linus Smyatt. Oh, well, well. What have we here? Go pay Linus a visit. <clears throat> Eighth floor of the Kong building. I knew that person was driving me away. But of course, I didn't want it to call them out on it. Now I had to return. And this time, take the damn elevator to the eighth floor. As I stood there going up the elevator, I had to think to myself what the hell was Linus thinking? <laughs> Why the hell would Linus want to kill these women? I don't understand. Was it was it jealousy? Was it envy? There was only one way to find out. He's probably going to freak out the minute he sees me. Evening, Linus. Uh, do you know this person? <coughs> yeah, that's my colleague, Hazel Ford. Suffers from depression. They were around MacArthur Projects. Oh, is that right? Uh, do you know this person? I saw them somewhere around Schuster Grange. You don't say. Uh... <coughs> Could you provide your fingerprints for an investigation? Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Is that right? <laughs> Do you have any square change? <laughs> uh, you're Linus, right? <clears throat> cool, cool. 
Hey, do you know an Ellis Leroy? <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, sir, I'm afraid I'm arresting you on the suspicion of murder. Now you... Now, now, now Linus, now Linus, calm down. Linus. Linus. Open the door, Linus. Open the door. Linus, you better open this door right now, or I swear I'm gonna come in there and beat you <laughs> with this truncheon. <laughs> Linus! Linus, listen, buddy, you don't understand. I'm sorry, Linus. I truly am, but I don't, but you leave me with no fucking choice. Taking my truncheon back. Now, Linus, you better hope I don't find a knife in here, because if that's the case, I'm going to have to take you downtown. You understand me? You better hope I don't find anything. So far, so good, Linus. I won't be taking your stuff, because I know for a fact you're still alive. There was nothing of importance in the trash cans. He's the office manager? Why the hell does he care? Hey, Linus. Linus. Buddy, you don't understand. Don't understand, Linus. Don't throw the weapon. Listen, I don't know how to fucking work this shit. <laughs> okay? All right. He better hope I don't find a fucking knife. What the hell do you have a sink disc in your drawer for? They don't like my methods, but I always get the fucking job done. You understand me? Yeah, it's me, asshole. Still me. Still me. I'll tell you anything if you get me out of these. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. You'd sooner run me through, too. Besides, I'm still looking for anything that puts you on the scene of the crime. It's a vial.
I will say, Linus, you got real lucky. <laughs> you got you got real lucky considering the fact that hold on a minute. Let me check you for a minute. There's nothing on you. Are we sure? Linus, are we sure there's nothing on you? 13 to 15. Oh, well, well. Wait, but... Hold on a minute. Can I see my own footprint for a second? Hey, what's your shoe size? I'm going to take your handprint for a minute. Uh, fingerprint type E. Uh. <clears throat> well, uh, <sighs> that's, uh, Well, uh, thank you for your time. Um, you motherfucker, you locked me in? Open this fucking door. <laughs> Open this door now. Yeah, I got bad news for you. I can't open. I can't get you out of those handcuffs. So you better give me the key to open this door. I swear to God, I will beat you. <laughs> okay, bad news, guys. I'm gonna have to actually. I'm gonna have to actually go through his wallet. Why did you have to lock the fucking door? You have a good day, Linus. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was back to square fucking one. Is what I would say. Jester, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. I can't remove the handcuffs once I've gotten them on the person. There's no way to do that. Once they're handcuffed, that's it. There, there's, there is no uh, removing them. <laughs> to be honest, there's, there's no removing them. Look, you can sigh all you want. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. But I couldn't believe it. I was back to square one. I had to take a double check at the uh, at the crime scenes, respectively. To take another look at the crime scenes respectively see if maybe I could find something anything <laughs> that could potentially put them in trouble <laughs> at this point Ryder just goes home Ryder's a quitter R Ryder's a quitter at that point
We don't fuck. We don't give up until we've solved the effing case. You understand? I had to hope that Yunus was never coming back home. Which, honestly, that would still be a little suspicious, but, you know. Well, that's not good. Sir? Officer? Seriously? <sighs> I did not want to have to do this today. Evening. Shit. You were supposed to fall. <laughs> Wait. Oh boy. Hang on a minute. Hang on, officer. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, officer. Officer, wait. Officer, wait. Officer? Officer. I'm good now. Dip shit. <laughs> Damn it, Dad. Ah, boy. Don't worry, he'll wake up thinking he just had a headache. <laughs> he'll wake up with a headache, but he'll be fine. Now then, I need to find something anything that oh shit <laughs> oh shit he's still after me ah! <laughs> Officer, please! Wait! <laughs> you don't understand, officer! <laughs> oh my god! Sabotaging? I don't want to sabotage it! <sighs> okay. There's got to be a way to block that fucking door. <laughs> Even better. Even better, if he comes in, I'll just hide in the shower. No way he can come in through there. <laughs> this is why I don't let you go alone. Well, you know what? <laughs> Oh, they moved it back. Interesting. I wasn't finished here. Type C. Type F. Type F? Hmm. 
Who the hell is this? Type C. G? Who the hell are all these people? Hold on a minute. I gotta zoom out. Hazel, 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 Hazel. C. I'm assuming type C is their uh, lover. I mean, it has to be. Type F and type G might... Well, no, because the officers wear gloves. I believe that's my blood. <laughs> Spattered. You don't think he's still out there, do you? Watch. Officer. See, they're pretty dumb. They're pretty dumb, Ryder. They always forget who you look like. This is why only I am trustworthy. Now, unfortunately, this means that I do have to go back to, um... To Clementine's room. <laughs> I could just jump down, but I don't want to do that. Look a pretty safe distance. There we go. <laughs> do not jump. Okay, where did this other person live again? Uh... Schuster Grange. I need to go back here. 401 Schuster Grange. You'll find it pretty suspicious that this was all, like, pretty close to Albion. Oh, 
Officer. Hey, can I let you in on a secret? Oh, good. They're walking away. Very good. Okay. Now, the only bad news is that I need that door closed in order to actually get the fingerprints off. Type H, H, Clementine, Clementine, peek under door. What was it scanning? Size 10 heels. Yeah, no, she's the only one who ever opened the safe. Wait. Well, she couldn't have written that. Was this guy careful? You're going to tell me this guy came in with gloves. Officer. So far, the case is not making any sense. It's like they were killed by a phantom. A phantom that was capable of wielding sharp objects. I couldn't quite understand it. But I knew one thing. Man had to be taken down. It's kind of coincidental that uh, the killings kind of stopped after I <laughs> handcuffed Linus, huh? Kind of coincidental, that. I needed to sit down. But I, uh, I didn't know where to sit. <laughs> to be honest. This would work. I wasn't quite sure what to make of all this. But uh, I did know one thing. I needed to take a sit down for a minute. Chat, I will be right back.
return. Anyone figure anything out? Because <laughs> I sure as hell haven't figured a single fucking thing out. This whole board made absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> For example, what do these two have in common? These two have nothing in common. One's older than the other, for one. I have no idea. Okay, that was, it's, it's enough. <laughs> it's enough. The min the minute we start role playing in the streams is is a moment when when we've finally lost hope. <laughs> the only thing that these two have in common is that they're female so far. Uh That's kind of interesting. They both have the same blood type. But it can't be that convoluted, right? Check and see. Well, I'd have to know where their hospitals are. Bloody Butcher claims another. Horrifying sight this evening was the murder of local a citizen's Clementine Bro, who was found brutally slashed to death upon with by a bladed weapon. Crumpled paper. Hold on. What do you mean crumpled paper? What the fuck do you mean crumpled paper? Hold on a second. I didn't see a crumpled paper. What do you mean a crumpled paper? Apparently I live in Tokyo. Evening. Officer. This is good. Now, officer, I, I do have a request of you. I can't even talk to them. Interesting. Okay, well. That one doesn't even care. Okay, what did they mean crumpled paper? They must have meant this one. He fucked up. He fucked up big time. Is 
Nope. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Officer, I'm about to make an arrest. What a moron. Wait, he's in this building. Idiot. <laughs> Good thing handcuffs don't cost them much. Take it easy. I ain't gonna do nothing. Now here's the good news. I don't have to be merciful to him. Actually, let me ask him questions first before I decide this. Morning, I am. Evening. What's your name? Are you sure? I don't have that money. Uh, have you seen anything unusual? Uh, do you know this person? Looks like Clementine Bro. They work at Wheaton Networks. I saw them today at 401 Schuster Grange around 6 p.m. You sure that's what you want to claim? Uh... Bud. Okay. Your spare change. All right. You have a good day. I gotta find uh, his name. I gotta find that person's name. Evening, officer.
suspect. Big suspect, mind you. There aren't any other Sakai's, so unfortunately... Unfortunately for this lady, uh, she's gonna be out cold. <laughs> Evening. Let's see if you're alone. Big mistake. Where'd you put the weapon, huh? Where'd you put the weapon? I mean, they're not going to need any of this money. I know that for a fact. Well, well, well. What's, uh, what's this? What you got a combat and knife in here for? Any one of these could have been it. Imagine, but I imagine it's the combat knife. What do you mean, one now? Huh? What? What you mean? You don't like the idea of getting caught, do you? Well, you should have thought about that before you put a crumpled piece of paper with your name on it. Stupid, stupid person. Better hope I don't find anything incriminating. Hey, what's your fingerprint? I wonder if I get your fingerprint for a second. Do, do, do you mind? Do you mind? Do you mind if I do that? Just a second. I'm also going to need that. Yeah, I know you want to kill me. Take it easy, lady. You got shoes in here? Ooh, Hayori. <laughs> Ooh, Hayori. Hayori, honey. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. Killer of Eden. Wait a minute, Type H is... Oof. Hayori. Wait. 
do I? I never took their fingerprints on the door. Actually, wait, yes, heal. Because of the uh, size 10. There it is, the killer live. Hey. Yeah, when did you murder him? No. Wrong. I'm arresting you on this on the suspicion of murder. Why did you commit the murder? Eden Kruger, long live the red gums. Goodbye, Iori. <laughs> I've arrested the killer. Have a good day, Hiori. You you have an excellent day, Hiori. I should probably tell that officer to arrest her. Officer! I can't talk to you. Never mind. I gotta go turn in the case. What a case. <laughs> what a what a fucking case. Who the fuck's Eden Kruger, by the way? <laughs> well time to hand it in. Please wait for the results. I probably got like one thing wrong, honestly. On that whole thing. Oh, oh. Yeah. The heel wasn't it. The case has been solved. All oh, that money. All right. Well, that being said. I did say this would only be two hours. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, hopefully next time I won't have to take this damn pill that makes my voice sound like this. But in the meantime, uh, I'm going to see if I can stream a little more next week. I want to be able to stream a little more. I just need to motivate myself and not get myself so busy with things uh once again we have a uh well let me put the ending on first once again we have a uh vote going on for the flower queen of playboy vampire if you are interested in voting um uh, it's a bit upwards uh jester if you still have it if you could post it again uh 
yeah, so go to that link. Should be able to vote there. We will happily have your votes. And, uh, yeah. We will see all of you uh, next week, hopefully. Because tomorrow I do need to do some stuff to my for my uh <laughs> for for Blackwell Productions. Anyway, see you all later. <laughs>